Hey guys, I'm gonna be showing you a global release of a new game today, plus some tips, tricks, and show you how to get some free gems. So if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and tap that bell to get notified when new videos come out. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, Hello everyone and welcome to another I Pick My Butt video. Today we are playing Command and Conquer Rivals and today is the global release of this game. So you're going to want to get on it fast before everybody else beats you to it. And as you load up the game for the first time, you're going to get hit with a screen that says this game's going to download 120 megabytes in the background. So connect to your Wi-Fi if you're worried about data. But as far as storage on the phone, it's only 163 megabytes altogether. So no panics there. So the way this game is played is there's going to be missile platforms out. You see it in the center there. We want to build our guys and land them on there and take control of it. Doing so, that's going to start a gauge across the bottom of that platform. And once it fills up, we're going to be shooting a missile at the enemy's base. Now the characters that you're using to attack, when they come up to an enemy troop, if they're good at attacking against them, you'll see a little green icon next to them showing you that, yep, I'm good to attack these guys and I'm going to do massive damage doing so. And a huge need to know on this game, if you're on that platform and you get that meter up to about three quarters away full, and your characters die on there, well that meter doesn't start over. That enemy can jump on there, finish that 25% left, and launch that missile at you. And just to recap, make sure you're using troops that have bonuses against the enemy troops, and hold that platform as long as you can so we can launch the missiles out and destroy the base. Winning battles in this game is gonna give you crates. This is where we're gonna get our cards and coins, now we use the coins to train our guys. That's gonna give little bumps in DPS and health. But once we get enough cards and we go through enough training, well, now we can actually level up the guys and that's gonna give us a big boost. Along with training and leveling up your cards, as you hit milestones for a certain amount of trophies, well, that's gonna give you experience too. That's gonna cause your character to actually go up in level, which is gonna then bring you new cards and advance even further in the game. Like all the other games, stop back during the day to get free crates or do daily quests. But one of the cool things I saw, if you keep on winning and you get a streak going, well that's gonna give you bonuses towards experience and stuff. Pretty cool. Keep in mind this is a player versus player game and you never really know what cards your enemy's coming in with. So make sure you at least have one for troops, one for vehicles, and one for planes. That way you don't get stuck in a ditch somewhere. And my next tip for you, if you ever find yourself with just troops sitting there and the enemy's not coming, go after their harvester. If you can get that thing taken out, well, that's really going to slow down their gem production, which is going to give you a huge advantage. Now, i got to be honest with you. I played these games about 20 years ago when they first came out on PC, and I'm just a huge fan of these, the Warcraft, and everything else that were this style. So my rating might not be the best on it, but still, on the I Pick My Butt scale, I'm going to give this one five fingers. I'm loving it. I definitely think it's worth it, and I think you guys should really try it and see what you think. Plus, global launch, you might want to get in there because all your friends are going to be playing it. And I do want to say real quick too, link your email address to this, that's going to give you 100 free gems. That's going to be a big help for you. And anybody that's watching this right now, I want to hear from you. If you've downloaded this already or are downloading it now, well, come back, let me know how far you've gotten, and let me know what your favorite cards are, what do you think the best combos are. Just give me some good information on this, because I definitely want to make some more videos, and I want to shout you guys out in it. At the end of the day, I appreciate everybody watching. Follow me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, donate on Patreon or PayPal, check out the merch on Teespring, or even take a look at all the gear that I'm using to make these videos. Everything's down in the description. Take a peek. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and tap that like button too. Thanks everybody again, and remember, I pick my butt.